one team I want to ask you about because it seems that everybody has a different opinion on them, the Kansas City Chiefs. They have hosted four straight AFC title games. Mm-hmm. They are in, I think what most people would agree is the toughest division in football. They have completely remade their receiver room. They have completely remade their defense. Of course, they still have Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Do you think they're better? Do you think they're worse? Where do you fall on the Chiefs? I don't think they're better. I'm not comfortable saying that they're worse yet, though. Like, they're a team that I definitely am interested in seeing week one because I'm curious to see how Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes use these pieces. I think that the pieces around them are good enough right? Like, and you have obviously Travis Kelsey, who is one of the best at his position, though statistically started to show signs toward like a downturn a little bit last year. Um, but I think that logic would tell you that we should expect a high target volume for him, that he'll be heavily utilized with this, the, the offense, the way it's constructed now, I think, that the wide receiver pieces don't necessarily beg a defense to play that too high shell that gave them a little bit of problems. And so I kind of think that with the weapons that they have around them, you could maybe lower your a dot then, you know, if you have Tyreek Hill streaking down the field, but then you can hit the right guy in space with separation who could pick up yards after the catch so that they could still have that explosive offense, but it just kind of is created differently than like big play to Tyree kill. Um, I think that Patrick Mahomes is a outstanding quarterback and I think he can make a lot of things work. I, I have a lot of questions about it. Um, I, I feel more confident about them than I do about the Packers for some reason. And I think that you could argue that similar off seasons in that they have one of the hands down best quarterbacks in the NFL, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Uh, you took away easily their best wide receiver in each offense. And you didn't really replace them with anybody that feels like an adequate replacement. Um, but uh, there's something about the Packers that doesn't feel as like, like I, I can count on those wide receivers or those offensive parts to step up and fill the gap. Like Alan Lazard is a guy who you look at them and you go, okay, he's their number one wide receiver. Is he a number one wide receiver? Right. You know, I don't, no, I don't, he's not. I, I think we've seen enough of him that yes, he'll get more volume this year. He'll have more opportunity, but like, if he was that guy, Aaron Rodgers would have found ways to get him the ball more frequently and consistently, even with Devonte Adams on the field, he just would have. So I'm not sure that he is that guy. I think he's a strong number two wide. Re- maybe I don't even know if he's a strong wide number two. I think he's a number two wide he's receiver in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm kind of with you. I think the reason probably, and I don't want to speak for you, is the Chiefs still have Kelsey. There's no like anchor to the, like on third and eight, yes. you know what the, the Chiefs will isolate Kelsey. They will put him backside on a three by one look and say, we are going to match him up one on one. We will have Reed scheme up a way to do it and we will hit him for 10 yards. Where with the Packers in January, when it's third and eight, who is the ball going to? Because last year, we saw that against the 49ers, even with Adams. They could not move the football. And now you take Adams out of the equation. I love the Packers defensively. I think they're going to be very yeah. good defensively. Yeah. Offensively, I'm not sure. 